How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore PPF and Tint, and today we are going to tint the rear door of a Toyota Prius. So this one happens to be a 2021, and uh, we're going to go ahead and install tint on these. I have noticed uh, with the back window that there is uh, there wasn't a lot of cleaning done to the glass. The car is very clean itself, very clean, but the glass was not very clean, at least on the back one. So I'm gonna make sure and take some extra steps here to make sure that we get as clean of an install as possible. Um, on this one, we are gonna have to remove a sticker. We are using an Autobahn product. So this is their i3 film, and then it's a ceramic i3 and we are going to be installing tint on these two windows here on this door. And the kit is cut out using core. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on this. All right, so I'm noticing down here that there is some, some glue or something on the glass there. So we're gonna wanna make sure that we get that off. Um, there's a little bit there as well. And then we obviously need to get the sticker off of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my um, gasket wizard down in here. That way I can pull it back and just tuck the film in. I, I love these things. Um, they, you know, they can be super dangerous and I will, if you take a look at the next video I'm going to probably be uploading will be for the front doors and you have to be super careful on those because the, the panel goes up and you can scratch it with the edges of these as far as scratch the panel. So you have to be really careful on the door panel, but let's go ahead and get started on this one. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of prep work here first, get the sticker off, just do like a, a clean, little bit of a cleaning and take a look at things and then we'll get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do before we start this install is go ahead and get this pre-shrunk on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeegee that out so there's no water on that bottom edge and then we'll go ahead and pre-shrink this. The purpose of this process is just to make sure that we don't have any fingers popping up from the bottom once we put the tin on there because heat shrinking on the inside or having to heat shrink this on the outside on the glass is kind of a, a headache, way worse on the inside. So by doing this little step before, we eliminate that from being a problem. So normally I would go ahead and, and do all these windows, but I'm just gonna right now just do these back ones. And then I'm not gonna do the, I would just do all four at the same time is what I'm saying. But the front ones, I'm gonna make a video on that as well. So I'll go ahead and save that for, for that video. Terrific. So you just wanna make sure that edge looks nice and smooth when you're heating it. And I do have a video that goes over specifically how to do this process. So look that for, look up that. I think it's, it's called probably pre-shrinking or something. Just type that word in and you'll find the video that goes over the full details on how to do that process. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with the roll up here. And actually these windows do look a lot cleaner. I think it was just the back window that didn't get much attention as far as getting cleaned. Okay, but we're still are gonna take those extra steps because this car does have a few years on it. Okay, so we'll scrape off this. And then I basically just take it and fold it over adhesive side to adhesive side, and then I can throw it on the ground and it doesn't just get stuck to the ground. Because when you just throw those things on the ground, otherwise you're gonna be rolling around on your chair or you know, walking around and scraping those things off your floor. All right, so let's go ahead and razor blade this. Okay, this is a good step to take on vehicles with a few years on them. Uh, for brand new cars, I normally would skip this and just go right to uh, just a scrubby pad. Okay, let me get this car turned on so we can roll the window up and down. Okay, and I'm gonna turn the headlights off and then make sure the radio or the air conditioner doesn't come on. Air conditioner, or some type of airflow did come on. So let's get all that turned off, off, and no, 
Uh, looks like no um, radio. Okay. We just want the airflow off because one, it's going to use battery. Two, um, you know, we don't want a bunch of air movement in the shop while we're tinting windows. Unless it's air conditioning or heating. <laughs> from my from my stuff, <laughs> then I, I love the air because it's making it comfortable. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna actually stuff this way back in there further and really get that back area behind in the rubber there squeegeed out or uh, scrubbed out. And then we'll bring this down and we'll go ahead and razor blade this top edge. Okay, great. Next step, we want to clean back in here. So let's get this rolled up to where we're going to have it to do the install. And we'll go ahead and squeegee down like this. And you can see some of that dirt that's coming out of there. It's kind of loose back in there. So I'm going to even double that up one more time. Okay, that looks good. And we just want to do it like, you know, two or three times. Look at all that. Just eliminating all that from being possibility of getting underneath the film. All right, so now let's go ahead and squeegee this and prep for our install. And we'll go ahead and we'll take as far as you can get the squeegee in there, go ahead and squeegee that side down and then we'll bring everything else over. So the first pass I do like that so that I can get up over the edge with this, um, with this, uh, the, the cut side, the angled side. And the next time I'm gonna flip it over and just go like this all the way down. Keep in mind that every time your squeegee comes off the glass, it gets wiped off on the towel. And that's even if I have to stop partway through, doesn't matter. If I touch the glass at all, I don't go back to the glass without um, wiping the squeegee down. All right, so once we get everything squeegeed over to the side, we're gonna go ahead and uh, squeegee down. And then we're going to wipe off this top edge with a dry part of the towel. And you can see that that's the um, dirt that we just picked up off that top edge. And we're gonna go ahead and do a little mist down real quick across and then another little mist down. And then we'll give that whole window a little mist. Let's grab our pattern. So I wanna go ahead and mist the area down first. Make sure it's good and wet. I don't think that's our side. We're the bottom here. Okay. So we're gonna pull this off. We're gonna bring it down about you know, two thirds of the way down. And then I'm gonna take my fingernail and hold the film on this side with my fingernail. And then the other one I'll just kind of put underneath it. You can see that I'm walking. Ooh, ooh I let go of it. Oh my gosh. Whew, that rarely happens. <laughs> I almost dropped that. I just cut my fingernails today, so they're super, super short. All right, so we'll get this side on here. And let's get that tucked in. It's a little bit sticky. I just replaced my um, slip solution, but I think I forgot to blow out the old stuff out of the hose. Okay, that's not great. That didn't go... I mean, it's fine, but it's not great. We want it to be, to have, yeah, it's like not, there, we want it like that. Okay, same with this side's gonna be okay. What do we get? You got a blonde vanilla latte. Okay. And I got a dragon fruit coconut drink. Okay. All right, so what, I'm, what I just did there is I line that up on the top edge as close as it'll get without going over. It is a little sticky. Um, once this soap gets worked all the way through this hose, it won't have this problem. Um, and then you wanna make sure from left to right here that you're fully covering from the outside. So see how I am going all the way over behind this piece of rubber? Otherwise, you're gonna see the edge of the film and just. You know, just a better, cleaner install if you don't see the edge of the film there. Okay, let's go ahead and squeegee this out. So I'm holding it in place with my thumb here when I was pulling away. And then at this point, it's good and stuck and I don't need to hold anymore. And then I'm gonna come over until there's about an inch there. 
I'm not gonna push all the way over because we don't want all that water running down. We don't want to flush or push all that water out to the side, have it flush any dirt from the very side and then bring it back in this area here. If you're noticing on these lines that you're getting a bunch of dots, it's because that you're not cleaning in there well enough. And then when you push all this water over, it goes over, picks up all that dirt and runs right back into the tent right there on those angles. All right, let's go ahead and get our t one of our white cards now. Teflon card, I don't know what they call this card. And I'm going to cut myself a new edge on it. Okay, then we're going to take these up. Now it's important you take them up because we want to push any of that excess water up and out instead of again down and have it go and pick up dirt potentially. Great, so we've got this section squeegeed out. Let's go ahead and roll it up. Now we're going to blow this bottom down because this bottom was down below where we couldn't clean it. 1997 Chevy Camaro, but they only think that they could put the film. It's just sad because, all right, so then we're gonna put a little mist on the film there. Then we're gonna bring our gasket wizard all the way over and we're gonna tuck this edge in like that. And then we're gonna, Okay, hang on, let me come look at it. Okay, and then we're gonna tuck this in across. Just give me a minute. Okay, all right, so uh, sorry there. I had to um, answer some questions for a customer. Didn't really get to explain what we're doing there, but we will do a lot more explaining in more videos. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna blue max this down. All right, great. And then let's go ahead and squeegee this down, like this. So I'm going down about, you know, we'll do like four, three to five passes on the sides, downwards. And I'm putting a ton of pressure on that all the pressure I can put on it. And it's actually so much that it deforms the card every time I do it. So when I come back this way, the card will come out the opposite. Okay, see? All right, terrific. Let's take this, we'll wipe it off and we'll set this on the front seat for the next window. And then let's get this panel wiped off a little bit. Don't get too crazy because this is gonna get a little bit more moisture on it when we do this window here. Okay, here we go. All right, so at this point, you wanna come out and check this window out. And you wanna look for like little kinks on the edges. Like I can see that I've got a few dots right here of contamination. And those came out from that little spot that was had a little crinkle in it. That was where, this is right where the film was tucking in. And so we did end up with a couple dots there. So a little bit of water ran down and brought a couple dots out. No big deal, we're gonna make those go away. And then right here I have just the tiniest little kink from tucking that material in when we first put it in and it wasn't laying in there real nice. And uh, we'll worry about that. But really what you're looking for is big contamination and um, hair or big water pockets that need to be pushed out. And barring any of that, then we know we're gonna be moving forward with this is a good install. And so we'll go ahead and, and move on to the next window. And I'm just gonna let this sit and dry while I do the rest of the windows. And then I go back at the very end and clean everything up. All right, so let's go ahead and get on this wing window. All right, so on this window, the first thing we're gonna do is trim out a little tiny sliver of this rubber. And I'll have to make a video on this. We just want to take out just a tiny bit here. Yeah, I mean, that was just a very tiny sliver. You can see how small or little amount that I'm cutting off. And this will help the film tuck underneath there. Let's see, this is actually a blade that I use for trimming the edges of the film on windows. So it's not quite as sharp. It gets doled out real quick. So let's go ahead and use this other one. Well, this is actually being a little bit difficult. Hmm. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and trim out this rubber a little bit here. 
Yeah, it's not really, sometimes this rubber just doesn't want to cooperate and trim out a tiny bit. Okay, so we're gonna call that good. Let's get some water back in there. And then we'll go ahead and razor blade this window. Okay. And then because we did razor blade that, chances are all the rubber is broken loose from the glass. But I would go ahead and stick something like this in there to make sure that that rubber is not stuck to the glass. Run it around like that. Because then you're not gonna be able to tuck the film in and also wherever it's stuck, it's gonna leave a little bit of the um, rubber on the glass when you pull it away and then you have to, then that'll be debris underneath the material. Okay. This trim down this didn't go real well, so there's tiny little pieces hanging off of rubber. <laughs> this like never happens until I get the camera out. I mean, it's rare anyway. Okay, great. Okay, we'll go ahead and give that a mist and then let's go ahead and squeegee this out. So I'm really gonna be cramming this squeegee back in there to make sure that I get all the way to the edge of the glass and get back in there behind the rubber and get that as clean as possible. Okay, and then they'll take the rest of this down. Great, and then we'll go ahead and flush that down and then we'll give that just a mist. We don't want a bunch of water in there on the edges that could run down with some dirt. So we're just misting the rest of that. Okay, it's going to be this one turned that way, I believe. Yes, okay. I didn't set these up. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, we're gonna do it like again at a little bit of an angle. Push that up into place a little bit. And I think that this touched the door panel. I'm concerned that it did. And so I'm going to go ahead and just flush that out a little bit, just in case it did. I think it might've touched right there. All right, let's get this pushed up into place. And I'm also pushing out on the glass with my thumbs or this thumb anyway, even this hand was kind of pushing out on the glass and that helps give us a little gap there where we could tuck the film in. Okay, so for this corner, we're gonna go ahead and get this part laid down nice and smooth, flat there as you can see. And then we'll push the bottom into place while we're also pushing down a little bit and that'll help that tuck right in. And then we'll go across the bottom like this. And my fingernail behind it is the part that's actually kind of pushing it in Let's get this pulled back, that in place like that. Let's take a look out here and make sure that we got up high enough. And then we've got coverage all the way around. Looks really good. Let's go ahead and squeegee this out. That this is a difficult little windows. These little windows like this, just on any car, are a little bit more difficult. They are gonna take quite a bit of getting used to. Don't be surprised if you spend a bunch more time on wing windows and make mistakes because wing windows are tough. It gets, you know, once you get it down, you're just, you're going through it, you're going through the motions, right? <clears throat> they do take some extra time to get used to. All right, so I went ahead and squeegeed out right here. Let's see. Yeah, the writing is on the inside of the glass. And so if you squeegeed out that area first, chances are this pattern is gonna stay stuck down in place a lot better. Let's go ahead and squeegee this out to the sides. And then let's take this side all the way down. And then we'll come back across the top and we'll take this side down. Okay. And we're gonna do that whole squeegeeing process one more time. So this time I'm actually gonna do it a little bit more like we originally do it when we're cleaning the glass. So that side down and we'll take this down and I'm gonna get a little bit more aggressive with it this time because I know the film is stuck down. And I'm very methodical though. 
every spot is getting ran over again. So don't be, you don't miss water in there. Okay, let's get our white card here, which this is a different one than I just used on the last one. I've got, unfortunately I have like three or four of them in my pouch right now. So let's get us a new edge so that we don't scratch the tint and we get a nice flat edge to push the water out. And then we'll get way up in there and come down. Then we'll go across that again and then bring the side down. Then we'll go across the bottom. And you can do this a couple times, you know, two or three times. You can come out here and watch yourself do it through the film. Make sure you're getting good coverage as far as way back in there. And it looks like I have, let's see. There was a tiny little thing here and there's a tiny little one there from kinking it when I was pushing it into place. That is gonna push right out, it's not gonna be a problem. Um, but, it, you know, just keep an eye out for stuff like that because it is gonna require just a little bit of attention. Now, um, you know, it's, it's important that you go back and touch this stuff up. Like, uh, we want this stuff to come out as close to perfect as we can get. So we're really, we're going for damn good. We're not going for perfect, we're going for damn good. Um, but you know, touching up those things will, if you correct that before the customer sees it, that'll make sure that they don't go around looking for other problems. So we will touch that up. I am a firm believer in touching up like every little spot. Now, if you're, you know, you're slamming through cars and pushing them out the door, <laughs> I guess you could leave that, but I've never been that shop. So, or that installer. All right. So. Now we took a look on the outside, made sure we didn't have any huge contamination or something that we weren't going to be able to work with. And then we also looked for water pockets and air bubbles and little pieces of lint and things like that. Everything looks really good. So let's go ahead and dry everything down now. So make sure to get the whole panel dried off. On some of these videos, you will see me using the uh, these guys here to cover the panels and then sometimes I don't use them. I've had one time, one time in my career where I got the panel wet and caused a problem and that was on a true leather, it was on an older Porsche and it had to be uh, corrected by a detail guy came in and had to do some work to correct it but it was also because the leather was so old and bad. So, you know, I know people, some people complain on the internet about not covering up the panels, but as long as you wipe them down so you're not leaving streaks in your customer's cars, you really aren't gonna create an issue. Now, there are some panels that you will create an issue. Don't get me wrong. Some of these newer Mercedes and things like that, some of the BMWs have a certain type of leather that if water gets underneath those edges, it's going to disfigure the leather and you're going to be replacing door panels, which is a disaster. But there's, it's kind of a, We'll have to go over this in another video, but the problem is, is that right now with it wide open, I can see where the water is and I can continue to dry an area that I see that shouldn't be getting wet. Now, if I put those things over it and water gets back behind that, goes down, maybe it wraps into an area like this and then gets underneath the leather. Well, I can't continually wipe that down and clean it and make sure that it's dry if there's something over the top of this, because I won't even notice that that water's down there. Okay. So now we've got this installed and just for video's sake, we're gonna go ahead and clean this up right now. And we're gonna finish this as if the customer's coming to pick it up or we're gonna be pulling it out after we're done with the, this process. Even though I have the rest of the car to finish on the other windows. Okay, let's do something like that. So we've got some dots here. I'm not sure if those are going to show up in the cameras or not. There's some dots here, and what did we have? We had a little, oh no, that was that, and then there was like a little tiny, tiny kink over here somewhere, right there. That's, and I'm really, I mean, that's nothing. Um, but these dots, we want to get rid of those, and then we want to get rid of these two minor, th or three minor things here. Let's do that now. So the first thing I would usually try and do is just go over them with the bone stick without heat. Because a lot of times 
these things are so minor that they just push right out and I'm putting a lot of pressure and then just going like this was a little line this way and I just went like that with it and then just be careful when you go over that edge because it is very possible to catch that edge and, and peel the film up. So that's something that definitely needs some practice when you're going over the edge. Okay, there's a couple little dots there. Let's see if I can get these guys down. Okay, that looks good. Oop. You definitely push too hard with this too. Let's see here. I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing out there. So I'm basically just going over those dots over and over again. And we're pushing all the moisture and air out that's around them. Yep, that looks really good. Okay. And then you can use heat as well, and heat works really well, and then use less pressure with the bone stick at that point. Okay, so we've got that pushed down, we've got the little pieces here. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna take care of this little tiny thing over here, which is right there. It just looks, actually now it just looks like a little, you know, four, tiny little dots and I know I'm being really picky but this is just how I roll with window tint um, when you get really good at window tint you have minimal problems so it takes like nothing to go through and touch up a couple little areas like that and then you can call this as just as close to perfect as you can get it and you never have to worry about the customer pointing things out some people are incredibly picky Oh look, there's a tiny little hair right there, and re I mean really tiny. So if I take and I run this across this, then that's in invisible now. But if you were to leave that, it could be something that the customer could point out later or at least notice. And then once they notice something, <laughs> like I said, they're gonna check everything. Great, okay, well, that's ready to go home now. So we've got those, all that stuff's cleaned up. We'll go ahead and wipe this down on the outside, which I only do if I get my fingerprints and stuff all over it. I know that's kind of lazy of me to not wipe down every car on the outside, but sometimes they come in super dirty. And if you wipe here, then you end up leaving all that, you know, you could tell that you wiped them, by right? Because it wipes off some of the rest of the car. Great. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking a look at this video. If you found anything useful or helpful, please like and subscribe, give a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.